Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zero Excuses podcast. My name is Kenyon Ziska. Thanks again for tuning in to another great episode. Today, what I've got lined up for you guys is the first in a four-part mini-series that I decided to do that I'm simply titling the Attitude Series. This is going to be a series where I break down four attitudes or limiting beliefs that I discovered that I held on to for a long, long time. And over the years, I have discovered these limiting beliefs and attitudes and wanted to bring you the top four that I feel had held me back for a long time so that you can maybe start to unearth and expose yourself to your own limiting beliefs. Now, some of these beliefs were instilled into me from a very, very young age uh, from not only my parents, but many other people who um, I spent a lot of time with who had a big influence on my life. And, you know, this, this is not to sound like I am knocking any part of my upbringing or any sort of um, ideas and beliefs that were instilled in me by those people. It's just that when you reach a certain point in your life, you have to start to lay your own foundation of your own beliefs and decide for yourself whether those beliefs are true for you or not. And just like I'm deciding for myself what my beliefs and attitudes are going to be towards life, I no doubt I'm going to have an influence on my daughter and she's going to be bringing some of those attitudes and beliefs on board herself. But the bottom line is what was true for my parents isn't necessarily going to be 100% true for me. And what's true for me isn't going to be 100% true for my daughter. Anyways, enough on that. Today what I wanted to address specifically was or is one of the attitudes that I held on probably the longest and uh, took the most work for me to kind of root out and re-engineer a new belief. But uh, I held on to the belief that you simply can't have it all uh, for a long time. Now, taken to an extreme level, I guess that is true. You you can't have it all. There are some essential things that uh, we need to decide that we are going after in life. But this particular belief um, I used as an excuse not to go after some big things in life. And actually, I, I use it as an excuse not to lay out in epic detail plans around those things that I wanted because I didn't want to take the time to sit down and write out my vision, write out exactly what I wanted, and then start to go after it. So once I was able to root this out, that's when I was able to uh, take the time and sit down and write out a vision, write out my yearly plans, write out a quarterly plan, etc. But the origin of this belief was a saying that my my dad used to tell me and my brother all the time was that you can't have it all or you're going to have nothing at all. And like I mentioned, yeah, that's that can be true taken to an extreme level. But what I think that my dad meant was that you can't go after all those fancy, shiny objects. If you stick to your vision for what you want in your life, you can't have everything that you want. So the way that I, that I re-engineered this belief was that, yes, I need to, I need, I can have it all. I can be a father, husband, um, a race car driver if I want. Like, I can be whatever I want to be. I can have all those things. As long as I don't allow myself to get distracted by these shiny objects that are out there. Like Greg McEwen says, you have to be able to discern the vital few from the trivial many. So that's what I have for you guys today. I'd be curious to hear what some of your limiting attitudes and beliefs might be. I encourage you guys to hop into our free Facebook group over at kenyanziska.com slash group and just hit the join button. It takes you right to the group. You can join in the conversations there. Let us know what what those are in the Facebook group. And and if you're not comfortable uh, doing that in a public forum, be curious to uh, hear from you directly. You can shoot me an email at kenyan.zitska at gmail.com. 
Always love hearing from you guys. I don't uh, always have time to respond to every single email that I get. I get a ton of email every day, but I definitely, definitely take time to read every single one that you guys sent to me. And, you know, I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that. Also, a couple quick reminders before we sign off for the day today. Um, if you are interested in taking these topics to an even deeper level than we have in the Facebook group or here on the podcast, I have a couple opportunities for you guys to do that. You can hop into our Infinite Results Mastermind group. It's a small, tight-knit group of uh, guys who are doing the work to root out their limiting beliefs, to lay out their daily plans, their weekly plans, and do the work uh, necessary to reach their reach their goals and get their results. You can apply to be a part of that at kenyanziska.com slash results. It's a uh, very short application. Just want to make sure that uh, you're a good fit for the program. And if you have been on the fence about uh, hopping in there, I encourage you to do so before uh, the end of August here. I am going to be significantly increasing the uh, price for it so you definitely want to uh, hop in there if, if you're kind of on the fence and if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me in my discipline coaching program currently taking uh, folks on the wait list for that you can apply at kenyanziska.com slash discipline and last but not least if you haven't already done so would appreciate it if you guys take the time to leave us a rating or in review on itunes and also subscribe to the podcast and if you know someone who needs to hear the messages that we're uh, talking about, hear the topics that we're talking about here on the podcast, feel free to share that with them. You can uh, just go to kenyanziska.com slash iTunes, take you right to the page. All you got to do is hit subscribe or, uh, you know, do your thing there. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Talk with you again soon.